All right, boys and girls, time for a new video. Um, but first, I need to uh, make a little shout out to my sponsor, uh, PBR. Um, and they just picked me up. Um, it's uh, I'm hoping to get a singlet uh, in the next couple weeks. We'll see. I don't know. Um, but anyways, uh, <laughs> oh, and I got my hair cut, so I'm not like doing the whole. I don't know. My hair, when it grows out, it, I swear, it grows out of the sides, like straight out. So everything looks good on the top, even though it may be slightly uneven, but it looks stupid because it starts growing like straight out. Um, and I, I, I try not to do the whole Marines haircut because I'm not a Marine. I never was, and I don't want to try to do that. But I do, I like to get a one guard on the side and like a, a three on top. So that, uh, you know, the sides don't grow out so fast. But I swear in two weeks my hair is going to look terrible. Um, it's good because I'm 30 and I don't, I guess it's, I mean, I don't, I've got, every now and again I catch a gray hair. But, you know, I'm not losing any hair yet. And, uh, you know, I think it's, my, my future is bright in that regard because, you know, when my, what? You want to do a train track? Okay, so after I do this video, we can play catch or we can do a train track. Which one is it? Train track. All right, we're going to do a train track after this. But anyway, so my grandfather um, on my mom's side, he had more hair when he died than my dad had. My dad's, my dad's still alive. Anyway, so enough of that nonsense. Um, but so uh, I wanted to make a video real quick just uh, – about practicing how you play and I know I've probably talked about this in other videos but I don't think I've really made a video dedicated to it um, and the reason I'm motivated to make this video is because recently I've seen um, some lifters on Facebook YouTube who are super strong and way stronger than I am way stronger than I'll ever be whatever but here's what I noticed um, all of these guys there's there's more than one more than two have put up really big numbers, world record type numbers. But the one thing they all have in common is they, they, they don't do their lifts in the gym or in training the way that they're going to be judged when they actually go on the platform. One of those guys just did a meet recently. He, uh, I'm not going to say names. You'll probably figure out who I'm talking about anyways. And I'm not hating. I'm not calling anyone out. I'm just making a point because... The way that you do it in the gym and training is probably what you're going to do in a meet. And this is a perfect example. This guy squatted over a thousand pounds in the gym and knee wraps in a belt. Amazing. Awesome. Issue was it was high. Not just a little bit, not just a touch, you know, not just a little bit where you're talking, oh, I'll just, you know, push my knees out a little harder in the, in the, in the meet and it's no big deal. High enough where he went to his meet and, um, was just pancaked or stapled to the floor with 70 about 70 pounds less than what he had done in the gym and i think what he um actually ended the day with on his squat was over 100 pounds less than what he actually did in the meet go watch his videos and his squats are high they're very high and so perfect example of don't do one thing in the gym or in training and expect to do something different in a meet because you you can't make that transition. It's just not – it doesn't work. Um, yeah, we need to put him back in the water because he's shrinking again. we got one of those grasshopper thingy majigs that you throw in the water and it grows. But anyway, so there's there's two other guys who are preparing for the same meet and – this one guy is from overseas, super strong, 242er, putting out a lot of hype videos. I don't even know how to pronounce his name, so you definitely know who I'm talking about now. But uh, very strong. But in a bench video um, just recently, I could probably crawl underneath him mid-rep. That's how high his rear is coming off the bench. No way he's touching weight even close to that in the meet. Plus, he's probably going to cut like 20-something pounds to make weight for this meet. 
Secondly, his squats are not borderline. They're super high. So if he goes to this meet and takes that weight to actual depth that the rule book says, no way. But I bet he doesn't take it to depth, and I won't be surprised if it gets passed. Not hating, just being honest. And that's okay. I'm sure I'll get the dislike button clicked. That's fine. I don't care. Um, I'm just trying to be honest, and the whole purpose of this video is to help other lifters out, especially young lifters who are, or who are new to this. Um, so all these guys that I'm talking about right now, very strong, and one of them at least, um, the third guy who I didn't really even talk about, has put up some legit lifts in competition and will probably go down as one of the strongest raw power lifters of all time, if not the strongest one. But I'm afraid even he's going to end up falling short of what he's done in training or not even coming close because what he's done in the gym recently is not on par with what you're actually supposed to do in a meet. So I'll go back to what I said, to what you've probably heard a million times, practice like you play or practice like you're supposed to play and you'll have much better success.